being asked to find the partial fraction decomposition. So the first thing we want to do is set it up. So this will be equal to. Now to set it up, you just look at these factors here. This is linear and it appears once, so we only have to write it once. So it's a over x minus one plus b over, this is linear, it appears once, so we only write it once. So x plus two. If, for example, it had been, say, 2x, uh, x minus 1, x plus 2 squared, then it would have been a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 2. But then this appears twice, so you've got to do it again, plus c over x plus 2 squared. All right, so to finish, we multiply both sides by x minus 1 and x plus 2. When we multiply the left-hand side by both of these factors, uh, they go away. So you just get 2x equals... Now when you multiply a over x minus 1 by both of these terms, the x minus 1 cancels. So you're left with a times x plus 2. And when you multiply this by all of this, the x plus 2 cancels. So you're left with plus b times x minus 1. At this point, the question you want to ask yourself is, what can you plug in in order to make things zero? Well, negative two will work because it'll make this zero, and one will work because it'll make this zero. So let's go with negative two first. So x is equal to negative two. So we get two times negative two equals, well, here we just get a negative two plus two. So it's just zero. Normally you don't write it. You just know it's zero, so you just put zero plus b times negative 2 minus 1. So this is negative 4, this is 0, so I won't write it, equals negative 3 times b, so negative 3b. That means that b is equal to 4 thirds. I'm going to circle it. This is not the answer, but I like to keep track of the uh, constants. All right, now we'll plug in 1. So x equals 1. So we get 2 times 1. Then here we get 1 plus 2, so we get 3, so 3a. And 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is just plus 0. Divide by 3, you get a equals 2 thirds. So the final answer would be just a, so 2 thirds, so 2 thirds over x minus 1 plus and b. So b is 4 thirds, so 4 thirds over x plus 2. Uh, I guess we could rewrite this to make it look a little better. So let's write it as 2 thirds times 1 over x minus 1. This is usually the most useful way to write it later on when you actually use this in calculus. And so that is the final answer.